there, it's Pat Hood from Passions of Pastimes, and we're back for part two of this gorgeous jewelry bowl. You can see some of the jewelry there in the background that I've already uh, taken out and shown you. This is where we left off last time with this half of a something, which I think will make a nice bracelet. And so I'm just going to put this off to the side and maybe we'll find the other half in here. Now I'm going to move to the other side of the bowl because there are some interesting pins. And you know, I like pins. So I'm going to just pull them out and, uh, oh, that's on a put pin. That's a necklace. Okay. That's another one. Okay. There's lots of cool stuff in here. So. Well, I saw the Christmassy stuff, and I think I saw another. I don't know where it went. I saw another. Oh, well. Anyway, so here is a pin on its uh, tag for, for gifting, I guess. Um, I don't know if there were supposed to be things through those little holes up there, but it's a lovely reindeer with holly um, from Northern Reflections. Uh, it's a winter... Piece, full green foliage, $15.99 was its selling price. Now, often Northern Reflections will have sales up to 70% off. So um, that's quite nice. That's very giftable just the way it is. I take the price tag off and uh, there you go. So some Christmas. It's not July. Um, so uh, it's August. And by the time you see this, it'll be um, September. <laughs> So I saw a great thing yesterday. It said, is it August already or are you Julying me? Um, so, but it'll be September when you see this a little bit closer to Christmas, but I'll hang on to that. And then this, ooh, wow. Okay, so it's missing some rhinestones. This is an oh wow for me. Look at the white enamel on here. This isn't really Christmas, but I was thinking, you know, holly? What is it got on the back? Just got a nice, uh, well, it's a little stiff. And there we go. Have to get that, uh, maybe figure out why it's so stiff. No maker's mark, but that's really pretty. I like this. And, uh, you know, I'm pretty sure I could find a couple rhinestones like a, a pink one for sure I'm not sure I can get fun with these light violet ones but I'll figure out something to make this beautiful again oh I love it so not really repurposing but repair and then look at this isn't that sweet and it's missing one of those and I think I might have one of those I had something that had those kind of stones in it that was missing one as well. Look at the beautiful Aurora Borealis coating on those rhinestones up there. How a lot of real emphasis on blue. All the little rhinestones in the, the ribbon. That is really gorgeous. And there is a name on it. Let's see if we can figure out what that says. Um, I think. Okay. Bear with me while I zoom in and we focus and it's La Bella. Ah, I had to give it the uh, Italian pronunciation. So La Bella. I'll have to uh, look it up and see what I can find out. But I am going to endeavor to repair that because that is really pretty as far as I'm concerned. I would wear that. It's just so pretty. Flowers. Cool. Oh, neato. So two things to repair. An earring. Oh, this is not a pin. It's got some... I don't know if that's damage or what that is there. Funny color. Oh, I got a fruit fly. Excuse me. It's uh, a bookmark. So, yeah. Put that in the repurpose pile. These came out together. And three bangles that are gold tone with that little sort of press design on them. Here's another pin. Look at all the little tiny faux pearls. There's one missing there. 
let's rip oh another two missing there one missing there okay so one two three four well in addition to rhinestone rescue i do pearl rescue i hope i have some little tiny ones the right color because that is really nice and of course looking at the back there is no maker's mark interesting nothing on the edges nothing on the pin okay so three repair pieces for pat i'm a happy 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 camper now this is cute and it's tangled in a giant earring so i'll put that in the single earrings pile and it's tangled with another okay so look at this i like this nice bright colors silver tone and it's a Y pendant, or not a Y pendant, it's a, a sliding pendant. Misspoke there. Beautiful silver tongue clasp, extender chain in excellent condition. I wish there were enough hours in the day to wear all the beautiful jewelry. This I really like. I might hang on to it and not pass it on for a little bit. Another pin. This is interesting. It's got a. It's got three rhinestones, two green and a red, and a little dangly heart. And I have no idea if this says something. Well, it says Merry Xmas. Oh, okay. Well, that makes sense. Green and red. There's a little. This pulls off a little stick pin, a Christmas stick pin. So two Christmassy things. Here we have another silver tone necklace. It's, it doesn't slide quite the same way as the uh, one that I really liked. Silver tone chain, lobster claw clasp, a little pearl, and, uh, or not a pearl, some kind of a little bead, and a little tag that you would think was a uh, an Avon tag by the shape, but it says... There we are, GV9. So I'll have to look that up. I'm not aware of that being a, a new Avon symbol. Um, the execution is kind of rough. There's missing paint here or enamel and then too much enamel on this piece, so. But that certainly the chain could be uh, kept and used, or it could, this could be passed on as well. All right, how are we doing? So, pulling out little bags of things. And there we go, that should be enough for... Oh, okay, I want that too. All right, so here are three more rosaries. Black, red and white, and purple and white. So that makes five rosaries, and nothing wrong with that, for as far as I'm concerned, because I have places those can go. Here is a rhinestone pin brooch. All the pieces are there. Looks... um very new, no uh, maker's mark, but uh, excellent condition. That's very pretty. Um, what's this? This is, uh, oh, this is a scarf clip. I don't know how many people still wear scarf clips or scarves. That um, is a nice design though. Be nice as a brooch even. What's this? Oh. Oh, cool. This, is it wired together? This is a wired together stick pin. So here's the back. It's a leaf in filigree. And then there's a bunch of beads. I don't know if there's a bead missing there. It looks like an empty spot. 
So there's a rhinestone at the bottom and a rhinestone up there. Oh, very interesting. I don't know if, what the meaning of that is. And there's another rhinestone. Oh, another one there. So the and there or no, that's not a rhinestone. It's a bead. Yeah, it just I think it needs another bead over there. I wonder how old this might be. Just a little. Whoops. Is there any marking on the bottom? No letters. Interesting, two stick pins. That's, uh, you know, very often see stick pins these days. Here is a shell. I don't know the name of this type of shell, but it's quite lovely. And it's been, uh, uh, it's got a, a, a bead cap and a little ring, or a, actually probably not a bead cap because it's got a spot for the ring for hanging. So it's meant to be pendant. This is a very heavy chain. Okay. Oh, there's. So here's the chain. So double links, sort of twisted and flattened. But a decent length, so it's not a choker. And then a hook on the other side. It's in very good condition. It looks like it's hardly ever worn. I mean, there's no discoloration on either side. Just looking to see if I can come up with a any kind of a maker's mark. Let's lay it out and see. So at least more than 18 inches long. Probably 20. So that's very pretty. Uh, sort of a classic design. As long as you wear it, you put it all flat when you put it on. Okay, this might be a puzzle that I can't solve today. Or to get them all going the right direction. But uh, very pretty. Oh, I like that. I'm not sure if, if I'd ever wear it. I've got so many beautiful gold chains or gold tone chains. But it certainly also could be donated to someone. Here is something interesting. I've never really seen this kind of thing before. Oh, yes, I have. Okay. I just destroyed it. Okay, so this is a group of bracelets, of stretchy bracelets. One, two, three, four, five. And the... What's wrong with this one? One, two, three. Oh, I see. Four, five, six. They're very poorly strung or, or overstretched or something. And they were meant to be tied together with the ribbon. And that kind of keeps them. You know, as one bracelet you would put on, but I thought it was maybe a necklace with that kind of a with a ribbon clasp. Now, just wanna, I would love for some of these to be glass beads, but by the temperature. I mean, that feels like it could be glass, but it doesn't, see, feel like it doesn't, it's not cold. I mean, I know the temperature in here is warm, but still, what does it sound like? Yeah, they all sound the same. So a bunch of plastic beads. Um, I'm not going to go to the trouble of restringing them to donate them on, but they would be good for the kids' stuff that uh, kids to play with to repurpose. Um, put that back in there till I get through this stuff here. That's 
an earring. This. Okay, so there's the design. There's the back. No name. Though you would think that that looked like a number or something, but it's not. It's lobster claw clasp. I like the chain. Um, don't know about what I'll do with that. And here is the thing that was broken. So, oh, this says chameleon. All right, I'll have to uh, investigate that. Now, I wonder if there's another missing piece somewhere. Because I don't see. Okay, so there's one cult piece there and one piece there. So it's, this is what it looked like. It's a nice substantial piece. It's an excellent condition, except for the fact that this has become detached. Oh, and I was so looking forward to turning it into a bracelet. Well, we'll see. I'm not sure if that's worth repairing or not. Well, let's pull this out because this looks a little older. And maybe it's not. Well, maybe it is. Spring ring clasp. Nice plastic beads with spacers. Actually strong, not molded in place. So that's an interesting one. So just by the shape of the beads, I would uh, put this a little bit older. I'll probably save this. It doesn't have any markings. It would be nice if it said, you know, Germany or Japan, but maybe it's probably not that old. But uh, very pretty color. And uh, I like that. Okay, so I'll put it with my more vintage pieces. Let's see what else we can find. Oh, another... Another rosary. It just doesn't have its own bag. And put up a little things. So there is a necklace from let's reveal Joe Fresh. Okay. Looks uh, well tarnished. One but it's actually not bad to see whether it's supposed to be it's supposed to be gold tone or silver. I guess it's supposed to be gold tone. I wonder how that would clean up. Oh, yeah, actually, when you got it over on the gold tone side, this one here is kind of greeny though. So I don't know. I'll put that to the side. Here's a stretchy bracelet. It's it's kind of big. It's kind of too big for most wrists. So if you had a big wrist, there's some they're pretty plastic beads, but everything them these little ones that look like metal are just plastic as well. Okay, this is a pull for a uh, a lamp. Sometimes you need these extenders though, so. Not like it's not worthwhile. It's just not jewelry. One of these little paddle necklaces. And I have yet to figure out whose tag this is. Oval with a little rhinestone. If you know, please let me know. See how the plating's wearing. Um, oh yeah. Down to the copper on the inside. So, probably what, 18 inches? Yeah. Too, too bad some of these things wear out so easily. And this is a little bit older. It's got some good old verdigris on the bottom there. A little box clasp, shaped like a flower. No names on the class. Very lightweight. 
one, two, three, four, five, six strands of pearls. A lot of them down here are missing their, uh, or have lost their coating. But they're a nice white color underneath. So the thing, thing about that is you can, they can be uh, dipped in um, acetone and the coating comes off all of them. And then you have just a white bead necklace, which is not bad. But again, time, time consuming. Oh, I'm going to stop there. I think that's enough for, um, oh, there's a couple things that came out. Well, we'll put them away for next time. Um, I like I, I'm in, very interested in this. It's nice, all these beautiful pins that came out that'll be repurposed. Oh, and I want to report back this this ring, even though it's marked uh, uh, 925 on the inside, it did not, it tested as not being silver. So uh, I'll have to find some way of obliterating that mark or, or at least passing on information that it's not silver. Thank you for watching. Bye for now from Pathood and Pat Pathood Passions and Pastimes. I hope you have a great day.